any movement is positive. Anytime you're standing flat foot, that's exactly what you're doing. You're burning the clock. So if you can combine movement with shooting, it's always a positive. Let's talk about the most important aspect of practical rifle shooting, and that is to have the ability to fire on the move. What you want to realize when you do this technique, any motion forward or toward the target is always going to be a, uh, an added advantage. You never want to shoot flat-footed. You always want to move and shoot. I'm going to demonstrate the foot technique for this. If I'm going to charge straight to the target like this, I want to stand a little bit wider than I would usually stand. The reason for this, I don't want to hit my feet together when I'm doing the transitions. I'm going to stand a little bit lower. I'm going to bend my knees just a little bit more, feet about shoulder width. Now when I actually do the walk here, I'm going to have to go from heel to toe. And what that means to you when you make your transition from foot to foot, from step to step, you want to keep the bounce of the rifle at its, at its absolute minimum, okay? So I'll just give you a little demonstration here. Bend my knees, feet about shoulder width apart. I'm going to get down about this, about, about this deep in my stance here. And we're going to go heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, okay? You notice in the transitions that what's really important here is that I stay on my heel a little bit longer than, than I would really like. And that is so I, when my foot goes through its transition, it's, it's never going to come into the ground flat. Anytime you get that flat foot like this, you're going to really shake that rifle. It's hanging out in front of you, so it's going to be influenced very easily by your foot technique. This is an easy, a pretty easy way to practice this technique. Go ahead and get your cup of water and do the same stepping routine and try to spill the minimum amount of water from the cup with the maximum amount of speed toward the targets. Let's see if we can do this pretty good here. No drops, pretty good, it stayed level. That's the kind of transfer you want on your feet and that's how your rifle is gonna look into the target, pretty steady. What you wanna be aware of when you actually have your rifle in your hand, I'm not really picking my shots when they come through the center of the target. I'm not timing the shot to my step. When it comes into the A box, I'm going to trigger a shot. So smooth transitions. A good way to try to develop movement while shooting, you can dry fire this. You don't have to fire a shot. You can put your chamber flag in, go to the range, or do it in the house or wherever you want. It's just try to transition from, from set up targets, you know, set you up some little targets or points of interest and just learn to transition well. Stay fluid on your feet and feel what it takes to make the technique uh, consistent. Now I've got the rifle here. I'm going to show you one of the major technique changes. You know, we talked earlier about the stance. This is my natural shooting position here. I'm bladed off into the target. I can't really do that when I'm walking forward. So I've got to compromise it a little bit. I'm going to square up a little bit more. But I still want the rifle to stay close to center of mass here. So it's going to look about like this. Pretty, pretty smooth transition. There again on the, on the scope or your sight, don't wait for a perfect shot. When it comes to the A box, stay prepped on your trigger, make the shot. We've got a little field course set up. You notice right in front of me I have three targets and also have one hard off to the right and one hard to the left. What you want to be aware of, when that timer starts on this event, my time is running. So it's very important that I get to the last target as soon as I can and make that shot. So I'm going to shoot on the move, I'm, I'm going to stay aggressive, I'm going to use the multiple target techniques that we talked about. Shoot the three in the middle, I transfer my sights way to the right, shoot that target and then slap it on into the left and make it as fast as I can. The time is going to stop on my last shot. It's going to be a minimum of 10 shots.